In this video, we head to LA's San Fernando Valley to visit what I believe is one of the coolest museums in Southern California, the Valley Relics Museum. The museum is located right outside the Van Nuys Airport in a repurposed airplane hangar. You enter the museum through the gift shop, where you can find a large selection of classic San Fernando Valley themed t-shirts and other souvenirs. But once you enter the museum itself, prepare to be blown away. The Valley Relics Museum first opened in 2013 in Chatsworth and moved to its current location in 2018. The collection here is massive. I mean, I could spend all day just looking around and not run out of things to see. And apparently, the museum only holds about 40% of their collection as well, which is just crazy to think about. Now, we didn't grow up in the San Fernando Valley, but we did grow up in Southern California. And while there were things at the museum that we didn't know about before our visit, there was a lot more that seemed really familiar to us. So you definitely didn't have to grow up in the San Fernando Valley in order to appreciate the museum. And of course, it goes without saying, it would be impossible for us to show everything at the museum in a single video, at least not without the video taking several hours, but we do want to show some of our highlights from the museum. First is this large room that features a number of cars, tons of large neon signs, and even a video arcade. If you're like me and you love seeing these old signs, this room is just simply amazing. Seeing this Pioneer Chicken sign was pretty neat because it reminded me of my grandfather who really liked Pioneer Chicken. I haven't seen one of these signs in years. Apparently there's still a couple of them around in the Los Angeles area, but for me it's been decades. But there are just so many cool signs to look at in this room. The collection is absolutely amazing. The room had some pretty cool cars as well. This one was owned by Nudie Cond, who owned Nudie's Rodeo Taylor and was driven by his wife, Bobby. Nudie designed a lot of the costumes that were worn by Roy Rogers and Dell Evans in their movies. And other celebrity customers included John Lennon, John Wayne, Gene Autry, Ronald Reagan, Cher, Elton John, Tony Curtis, Michael Landon, Michael Nesmith, and Elvis Presley. Nudie was also famous for his outrageous customized automobiles. And as you can see by this one, they were pretty outrageous. Even the insides of the car are pretty crazy. Elsewhere in the museum, there was actually a full exhibit on Nudie's rodeo tailors that had quite a bit of memorabilia. Nudie even made Elvis's famous gold suit. Another cool and iconic automobile at the museum is Spicoli's Volkswagen from Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Underneath the sign for the Family Fun Arcade, which was a San Fernando Valley institution for 38 years, the museum has its own arcade. And the great thing about this arcade is all the games are free to play. The only drawback was trying to get our son away from there as he did not want to leave. While most of the largest signs are in that large room, there is signage throughout the museum. You are constantly having to look from ceiling to floor the entire time you're walking around the museum. There was a cool exhibit on restaurant chains throughout Southern California, which of course included the Big Boy from Bob's Big Boy and Jack from Jack in the Box. It even featured one of the original Jack heads. There was also an exhibit on the military in the San Fernando Valley. And of course, being so close to Hollywood, there was a lot to do with television and film. Being a huge baseball fan, one of my favorite exhibits there was seeing the actual signs from the field from the movie The Bad News Bears. Outside of the field signs, they had a lot of other memorabilia from the movie as well, including autograph photos, scripts, signed baseballs, and even some uniforms. Next to Humphrey Bogart is Marilyn Monroe's chair. But that door behind him with all the stickers on it is probably the thing I spent the most time looking at in the entire museum. This was Eve Plum's bedroom door. And of course, Eve Plum is best known as Jan Brady in The Brady Bunch. 
and it was just fascinating to take a look at all the different stickers and see what stickers she was sticking on her door as a kid. And in case you didn't notice it in that last shot, next to Eve Plum's door is a bottle from I Dream of Jeannie. The museum also had an exhibit on Jack Lane, who was the artist for the Brown Derby restaurant for 37 years, and it included some of his original artwork. The museum had a bunch of really esoteric stuff that was a lot of fun to see, such as this diorama that was owned by Jack Webb of the filming of the movie Ben-Hur. I mean, where else are you going to see something like this? Even the bathrooms were filled with things to look at. As I mentioned earlier, there is just so much to see at the Valley Relics Museum. You could spend hours and hours and hours there and not see everything. Pretty much every wall is covered and pretty much every shelf is just filled with stuff to look at. Really, this is a place that you just have to see to believe. In my opinion, the Valley Relics Museum is one of the best museums in Southern California, especially if you're into classic signage or if you grew up in Southern California, I mean, it will bring back a ton of memories for you. When we visited, admission was $10 and well worth it. We definitely plan on going back to the museum next time we're in the area, and we can't recommend it enough. This place is just absolutely one of the coolest places to visit in the area. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and we'll see you next week.